Good morning guys on this beautiful Sunday morning. The weather is absolutely fantastic here in England. Uh, very rare that we get good weather but I'm really enjoying it so far. Okay, today we're going to a charity event uh, in Birmingham. I was uh, made aware of it uh, about two days ago and uh, it's basically, um, it's got you know various different activities for kids, um, it's got stalls and it's all about, well the whole charity event is for Syria and Gaza um, and they've also got a car wash so I thought why not take the Mercedes C63 over for a little wash as it's uh, a little bit grimy so as you can see so yeah I thought why not let's take this for a wash as you can see the driveway is empty no Rolls Royces no Lamborghinis no Ferrari so I mean this is <laughs> the loudest thing I have um, so yeah why not uh, Alhamdulillah obviously very very busy again as usual I want to say a big shout out to Rene uh, I think this is how you pronounce it Rene V it's uh, R E N E uh, space VA. I'll leave uh, some information in the description box. Uh, but this uh, this company, they've sent me out these uh, this T-shirt here. It's, a, it's called their new capsule uh, T-shirt, something like that, where um, it goes from white and it blends in all the way to black. I mean, I don't really accept uh, many offers like this, and even though it's so nice that people send stuff out, but uh, it's because I know that I'm probably not going to wear it. But these guys, I love black and white and you know simple clothing is the best so I thought you know this is this is really really nice here so thank you very much for that guys and I will leave a link to their store if you want to buy it uh, from those guys as well I'll leave a link to uh, their store and um, so yeah you can purchase it and other than that a lot of people have been asking as well about the kicks these are my favorite shoes here uh, they're Le Boutons. Uh you can find them in uh, London on uh, Dover Street. Uh, I think that's the men's one. I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's about it. So we're just going to head over now. First of all, I'm going to go to Pet HQ where I'm meeting a friend. I'm going to pick him up from there and uh, yeah, then we're just going to head over to the charity event and check it out and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it today. So yeah, let's go. Open sesame. So we're just here now and as you can already hear in the background, yeah, excuse it for a second, yeah as you can hear in the background already we're re there revving it up, um, yeah so just arrived, uh, the car wash was a little busy so I didn't actually get my car washed. Just had a little look around at the moment as well and uh, yeah, got some good stores up and uh, yeah, just a good day for the kids and whatnot to raise money for a, uh, a worthy uh, cause uh, for the people that are suffering in Syria and uh, Gaza. Uh, as we all know, Gaza uh, has been left in an absolute state uh, thanks to the, uh, the bombings from the Israelis. Not going into uh, politics so much or whatnot, but it doesn't take uh, a genius to work out what's going on there is wrong. Um, and those people need our help right now. So yeah, it's all about them at the moment. Uh, just uh, got my, let's see, there we go. Got the uh, Save Gaza, Free Palestine. Give it some more. One more. So right, here we are guys, uh, we're just at the uh, charity event now and uh, I think they all want to hear the C63 so we're just going to give them what they want. Let's go. Oh god. Eventable, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna build up the fumes in it and then go. Oh, I'll do that. Here you go. Fuck, man. What do you say? 
So there we have it guys, I think they've actually really enjoyed that. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, there's a kill. So yeah, just uh, got a little bit of a crowd around the car right now after um, starting it up and revving it up. I think the camera guy here as well. Just getting some shots of the car. Lots of people come out today in support for Gaza and Syria. Um, having a good good day out with the families and whatnot. So yeah, it's pretty good. Got some super bikes here as well. And this is the beast of a GTR that's just arrived now. I'll go into that in a second. Let me just park that up. This car is an absolute animal. Right, some more bikes. And uh, Hayabusa. Absolutely beast. And here we have a uh, this BM as well. This is this is brilliant. I've heard a lot about this bike. I don't know much about bikes, but this one is uh, is something special. I've heard the BMW RRS 1000. I don't like the headlights on it. I don't know why they don't match, but yeah, fantastic bike. Let me show you some more. This is another car that I've spotted around Birmingham a few times. It is the Velvet CLS, and this guy has big. <laughs> to wrap his car in velvet but I tell you what he's taking a risk and it really is a, a showstopper looks fantastic just have a quick feel of it now it's really really nice done the chrome around the edges and the satin black on the roof I think wisely so with the gold badges as well it's really nice it's a CLS 63 AMG 5.5 V8 and then we have the, uh, I don't know what this is to be honest, let's have a look. Okay, well I don't know, it just, it looks quite fun. Actually the finishing on it is horrible, then we obviously have an R8, you've probably seen many of these before. V10, R-Tronic, and it's great. Which one's your favourite cars guys? You like this one, the R8? My one! <laughs> I like him. <laughs> and then we have a TVR here as well. Can I get a shot in front of you in front of yours and me in front of mine? Mine's a Porsche next to yours. Yeah, sure. And let me just yeah. quickly just finish my vlog off. One yeah, second, no yeah, if you don't mind. Um, then we have a TBR here. Looks very, very nice. All black with the yellow detailing on it. So yeah, definitely. Sounds uh, great as well. And a, a nice number plate on this DB9 as well. Not a massive fan of the Aston's, but uh, yeah, I think the new versions look pretty cool. Uh, we have uh, a Bentley Mulsanne here as well. In a beautiful colour here. This is a, a friend of mine's. Where's Akil gone? There he is. This is Akil's car. Akil, would you like to talk through it? Not really. Talk no. through your car. You go through it. Go through <laughs> I'll go through it, yeah. Uh, so this is Akil's new, like, latest purchase. It's uh, a Bentley Mulsanne. Uh, what colour is this? Like a navy blue? Sapphire blue. Sapphire, okay, it's a sapphire blue, to be technical, when, uh, with a nice creme interior as well. Looks great. I've always wanted a Bentley, but I don't know why I haven't actually bought one. This one, I'd have over a uh, a few of the uh, luxury cars out there. Taking more usability as well. Anyway, what else have we got? We've got this, this Porsche 911 Turbo as well. And, okay, I'm going to talk you through this GTR now. This GTR, what's this pushing? This is also Akil's as well. <laughs> Akil, what's this pushing? Uh, 900. Well, 900 brake. Yeah. Oh, no, no. This is the driver behind the car. And this is the guy behind the car, <laughs> the brains of the car, and uh, yeah. So what is this? What 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 is it? A uh, 900 brake horsepower? 900 brake horsepower. 900 brake horsepower. It's just had new pistons put in it, so we can't take it over three and a half, four thousand revs. Uh, but yeah, it's, has it got an exhaust system on it as well? Yeah. What exhaust system? Go, go on, Litchfield. Okay, so Litchfield, okay, you're gonna start it up for us, yeah? Okay, Akil's gonna start it up for us. So let's uh, let's have a little noise check, check on it. Only up to what 4,000 revs? It's fine. Have you got the engine? Open the engine button. Can't tell. There we are. You can't tell it's been tuned. And even from the exterior as well. One second, let me just get away. Even from the exterior as well. You can't really tell that it's been tuned. A very usable car. I like it. It's subtle. It doesn't have to scream and shout that I'm fast, but it does the job. 
And the brakes. Well. And the brakes have been upgraded yeah. as well. Yeah. No, I don't work for Top Gear, no. Those brakes were, I think, 10k. Why is that? Brakes? Okay, so this guy is very sensible as well. It's not all about speed, it's also about how you're going to stop. Upgraded the brakes, about 10k for some new brakes as well. And also, what else has it got? It's got, uh, yeah, 900 brake horsepower. And I remember this car, very car, actually raced a P1. Um, and the driver of the P1 actually had to uh, sweat it out and uh, it gave it a good, uh, a good gift. You put in, uh, wait, one second, a kill. Yeah, if, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, if you uh, type into YouTube VMAX 200, you'll see this very GTR race of McLaren P1, and the driver of that um, actually had second thoughts at uh, why the hell did you buy a P1? Because this nearly uh, put it to shame. It's just turned up as well, uh, an R, an RS XK, nice little wide back on it. Yeah, but other than that, everyone's having a good day here today, uh, all for charity. So yeah, I'm just going to spend a little bit more time here, and then I will be heading back. Um, and that's it really. But yeah, definitely the favourite car here so far is this Nissan GTR. And I'm here today at uh, Revit from Gaza in Birmingham. A charity event that they've got going on here at the moment. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Great day on Sunday and the families and kids. Uh, and some nice cars turned up as well, which is uh, the main reason why I've actually wanted to come here. Obviously, the benefit of it is it's all for charity. But uh, I think uh, the little uh, meeting ground is the cars here. We're just in the car park right now and uh, everyone's enjoying themselves. Um, yeah, it's good fun, there's a lot to do. Okay, well, we have a uh, 900 bhp Nissan GTR, which is my favourite so far. Uh, we've got some luxury cars turned up, we've got a Benetton Nissan. Um, I've turned up in the uh, C63 AMG, we also have a, a Velvet um, Mercedes CLS uh, as well, which is incredible. I've never seen anything like it before and it's a real head turner. Uh, we have a TVR, we have Range Rovers, we have Jaguars, we have Porsches. There's, there's a wide variety of cars. We also have some super bikes as well, which we can't forget about. And, uh, yeah, they, they all look nice parked next to each other. Yeah, so it's all good. Well, I don't know if you guys know, uh, we've tried spreading as much awareness as possible on social media, but there's a lot going on in uh, Gaza uh, and Syria at the moment as well. And uh, you don't have to be Muslim, honestly, to actually understand what's going on there. Uh, I think the TBR disagrees for some reason. Um, it's just not humane. Um, you know, and what, what the media, I mean, what Israel is, you know, is doing, it's like a lion just attacking a, a you know, a little puppy, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm not saying at the end of the day it's, you know, what, I mean, whether the fighting's wrong, but at the end of the day there's kids dying and they're innocent kids, they haven't done anything personal to the people the, uh, in Israel and uh, for some reason they, they find an excuse for everything and when they find the excuse, they just find a reason to just blow the hell out of them at the, at the city and uh, anyway, you know, we're here to support them and we want them to know that they're not alone and uh, we're here for them and we're going to try supporting them all the way through uh, and make sure we can lift them back up on their feet. Um, and honestly, I'm interested in like, Palestinian, like, people like Palestinian, like, Palestinian people. Uh, anyway, else is so strong. Um, and honestly, I, can, I, I personally can cope with it. So, you know what, hats off to them. They're bigger people, you know, and uh, it's, it's, it's just wild what's going on. So, yeah, I, I urge you all to support them, give what you can. That was and, uh, sort of you've still got a lot of questions of what's going on in Gaza, um, uh, what's been happening in Palestine. Uh, it doesn't take long to just type into Google and you'll see a few articles, even some YouTube videos as well. Uh, and yes, I'm going to watch every well, but what can you do? It's very, very sad. You just don't support them. And just uh, make the best. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, yeah. If, uh, I mean, I have a YouTube channel myself. I'm known on the social media as Lord Lee. Uh, I have a channel which just put into Google Lord Lee. I do vlogs, I do car reviews, and yeah, just the general petrol head. And it's just enjoying life at the moment. I'm not going to take it. Let's see here. So there we are, guys. Just finished off a little uh, video for. What's your channel called? You got a channel? Um, Supercar underscore photography. Severe photography. Uh, so, severe photography here. Yeah, here he is, the chap himself. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be doing some work in the future together as well, inshallah. So yeah, car reviews maybe, they've got to be done as well. So yeah, I think uh, I've been here for about an hour and a half or so. Um, I think it's time for me to leave. So yeah, just going to head back onto the road now. So there we are guys, that was uh, Revit Up for Gaza here today in Birmingham. I uh, really enjoyed the day out, family day out. You can see kids and cars and all sorts. Yeah, yeah, so there's loads of people out here. It's good fun, I uh, enjoyed it. And uh, oh, he wants a picture of my car. <laughs> Bless him. Yeah, um, got this as well. Um, yeah, so um, just gonna head out now. I've been here for a while. 
helps and get that GTR to move out of the way and uh, I think he's moving it now and uh, then we can head out. Didn't get my car washed in the end but uh, I'll get my guy to do it tomorrow, inshallah. So yeah, it's all good. What is going on? It's like supercar heaven here! Akil doesn't know how to drive that. <laughs> no wonder his brother doesn't give him the keys. the R1 that caused that beast. Where's the tire? Oh my days. Look at that. That's smoking. He's left half of the tire on the tarmac. And the wall. And the wall. <laughs> Look where it's going. It's like it's shit so. <laughs> oh, I think he started a little fire. What have you done? <laughs> These two chappies there just donated some money for Gaza. So I've just taken them out for a little spin. How do you think? Why is it bad? Amazing. Amazing. What about you, man? You enjoy it? So yeah, that's what you get. You donate money to Gaza and I'll take you out for a spin in my car. So yeah, what do you think of the C63? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, and what do you think of Aleem's driving? It's one of the best driving. Yeah? Can't compare to no one. <laughs> it looks like you've had, you're out of breath. Take there you go, man. guys. That is the Aleem effect. <laughs> Make sure you have a little word, make sure they donate for Gaza, to Gaza, yeah? Donate to Gaza, make Pe sure. People suffering out there. People suffering. And what do you get in return? A little spin in a lean car? A lean C63. <laughs> Big man, what do you think? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> Respect. <laughs> you know what? I'm a very, very, very sensible driver. I don't know why for hard saying that. For. So yeah, now we just uh, we just finished from there. Now and we've just popped over to Pet HQ. I think someone's in here working. Let me see. Clive, how you doing? I'm back. <laughs> Yeah, they're still working, still working away. Pet HQ Sunday. Make sure the thing is finished as fast as possible. But yeah, C63. There she is. Farhan. Lost for words. Legs are gone like jelly. All sorts. I don't know what else he said, but yeah. We're just, uh, oh, I think his friends have just turned up now. So I think he'll be going home. I'm going to be going home as well. But yeah, good day. Well, there we have it, guys. Um, that was today's vlog done. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. It was a nice little meetup. Uh, met some uh, great people as well, um, and it's always nice to see people come out and I've met some uh, amazing followers and, and people that have enjoyed the, uh, the videos, uh, especially in the My Motherland vlogs as well. Uh, I also want to say a big thank you to you guys out there because um, without you, I wouldn't have made it onto the most popular page in, on YouTube. Uh, so actually, Vlog 20 was uh, one of the most popular videos in the UK yesterday um, and today this morning as well and it was sitting alongside the biggest YouTubers out there such as PewDiePie and uh, a few others, I uh, can't remember them actually to be honest now. Um, 
but yeah, it's uh, it's been great. Um, I'm just on my way home now. It's about 5:30 uh, p.m. and I'm just gonna go see if my mum's cooked dinner. I'm starving, so yeah, I need a little bit of food now. Um, but yeah, it was great to see the video uh, on the most popular page. Yeah, and uh, I can't I can't thank you guys enough for the support and the love that you show. Um, I'm gonna be doing these vlogs every other day because. Um, well, it just won't be uh, interesting for you guys. Not every other day, actually. When there is something um, interesting to uh, to vlog, because what will end? One second. What will uh, what will happen is um, we'll just start be, we'll just start vlogging the same thing over and over again. And I mean, don't get me wrong. There's always something going on out here, but. Um, so it's more than likely it probably will be a vlog every other day, but uh, I just thought I'd warn you guys out there just in case the vlog doesn't come out for two or three days. Um, it's not that I can't be bothered to do them, it's just pretty much because um, there isn't uh, much to vlog out here. Uh, but 100%, you're on the journey with me, and uh, I will show you as much as possible uh, what goes on behind the scenes at Pet, and oh, there's just loads of events going on, so don't worry about that. But, uh, but yeah, thank you very much for the support. Um, I appreciate it a lot. God bless you all. Uh, take it easy, and make sure you subscribe, share, and like if you've enjoyed the video. Um, I'll see you very, very soon. Take it easy, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.